Hi everyone. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, as always, please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So this may or may not be your storyline and your energy group. Only take it if it resonates. Never try to force it to fit. And I appreciate your support. I really appreciate if this resonates, you know, comments, likes, shares, subscribes. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing your stories. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. Let's get into it. What do the cards want to say? What's the message for someone out there? Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords. Seven of Wands. Bear with me. Two of Swords. Someone's being prideful and stubborn. Someone wants to build with you. They want to they want to get on the same page with you. They want to build something here with you. They see you as their wish fulfillment, but they're too prideful and stubborn to apologize or to own what they've done in the past. It's like they see you as the perfect person for them. They they want to get on the same page with you. They want to make compromises. But it's like they don't want to budge. They don't want to be the first one to say sorry or the first one to communicate, which is pretty ridiculous. I always get annoyed with readings like this because it's like, who gives a shit about this person? But I guess someone out there does. So you guys need to hear it. <laughs> I mean, someone wants to hear it. Someone wants to know about this, you know. So if it's coming out, there's a reason for it. It's like they're blocking themselves. This person's so negative. They're so stubborn. They're so prideful that it's like it's like they're creating. They want to work with you, but it's it's like they're almost predicting arguments with you in their head. They're like, well, what if I apologize and they don't accept my apology, or what if I, what if I offered this compromise? There could even be something specific that you guys just couldn't compromise on, and they're like, well, what if I offer this compromise and then I get turned down? It's like they're they're it's like they're having these conversations with you in their head and it's like they're arguing with you in their head or I should I should say I should say you're arguing with them in their head. It's not so much that they're arguing with you, it's almost like they're trying to predict and control everything. They're like, "Well, if I said this to them or if I apologized, if I if I did this or this or this, I bet they would respond this way." They're expecting you to respond in a negative way. They're creating these like worst case scenarios in their head. They're obsessing over these worst case scenarios and like, you know, just just predicting the worst, predicting these arguments and just assuming that they know exactly what you would say and how you would react. I feel like it's also their guilt, too. It's almost it's almost like a weird psychological process that's going on where how do I explain this energy I'm getting because it's such a strange energy that I'm channeling like maybe you were too nice to them and they they it's like they're punishing themselves by creating this version of you in their head that hates them and for some you probably do actually hate them but for others it's like maybe you don't hate them maybe you even still have love for this person it's gonna be different for everybody but it's, it's almost like this weird, like, psychological pattern where it's like they want to punish themselves for, it's like self-sabotage as well. It's like they're punishing themselves for hurting you, for putting you in this eight of swords energy where you couldn't trust them, where you felt trapped, you felt blocked, you felt, you know, hopeless. And so it's like they have this version of you in their head that just absolutely hates them and yells at them and argues with them and... Uh, punishes them it's almost like this like energy form that they're creating if they don't they're thinking about it so much that they need to be careful because you can create an energy form that's almost like a spirit it's it's almost it becomes its own it becomes like a spirit like you can astral like in the astral realm you can create a spirit if you're like obsessing like that like with your thoughts and you're you're creating this this image or something of of a, of a being or a person or whatever 
it's like you can actually create like an own like a, like an entity basically like a like a you can birth this spirit in this astral realm so it, it's almost like they need to be careful about this they really need to be careful to not just assume the worst um i feel like another part of that is it's like self-sabotage and it's them punishing themselves for hurting you by creating this image of you in their head that just absolutely hates them. But I think another thing is it creates like a safety net where they don't have to apologize because in their head they've already apologized a thousand times and you've already shut them down and told them to fuck off a thousand times. So it almost like makes them feel like it's justified like they've already had all these conversations with you in their head, so they almost feel like it's justified to not have to apologize to you in the real world. This person has become delusional. Like they're not, they're they're losing grip of what's real and what's just in their head. This person might have too much downtime right now because they're thinking a lot. Like it's not. I mean, I don't know if they're like not working, but. Hmm. Because, I mean, if, I feel like if this person was, like, working 40 hours or more a week, I feel like I would get that energy of them, like, trying to be strong and, like, but it's, it's like they're in their head, like, they're detached from reality right now, and it seems like it's so obsessive that it's like they have, if they are working, it's like they have an easy job where they can just kind of space out and they can have these conversations in their head with you without having to, like, focus on customers too much, I guess, but, but yeah, they're kind of borderline delusional right now. But that's really on them. I mean, because, like, it doesn't fucking matter if they apologize to you a million times in, in their head. It's it's not a real apology in the physical world. It's not a real promise uh, to dedicate themselves to change behavior. It, it doesn't matter how many conversations they're having you with it with you in their head. If they're not doing something in the real physical world, that, that only goes so far. You know what I mean? The world, the hanged man... They could be replaying arguments that you guys have had as well. What is this trying to say? I feel like I feel like they're not making a choice too. It's like they don't cuz this person's so prideful and stubborn and they're so stuck in their head that they can't see reality like we were saying, but it's like being in this energy stops them from having to like like I said like make a choice and dedicate themselves. Because once they actually make that choice and they're like I'm going to come forward in the real world, I'm actually going to make an effort or I'm going to once they get out of this crazy cycle that they're in in their head, they might have a new perspective and they might actually come and offer you something very quickly, an Ace of Cups. I also feel like they'd almost rather see you be angry than see you be in pain because it's like, I think your pain just makes them feel so guilty. And I think if they were to get out of their head for a minute and like look at you and actually tune into what's happening in the real world they'd probably see that they caused you a lot of heartbreak they really broke your trust they made it hard for you to trust anyone else after what they did to you after how they treated you um, and you probably are angry I don't think you necessarily hate them but you probably do have a lot of anger towards them a lot of just you know like you just don't trust them but there's also a lot of pain there like where you're like there's just this deep sense of like betrayal, like, wow, this person that I loved more than anything just betrayed me, broke my heart. Like, I, I can't trust them. I don't know if I want to trust anyone. I don't know if I even want to open myself to love again. Um, and I feel like it's too painful, like, for this person to fully take accountability for that, for them to like recognize how much they destroyed you, how much they damaged you. Um, 
just in general, like in, in friendships and romantic relationships, like they really kind of changed you in a lot of ways. Like they made it so it's just you really look at society differently. You look at people differently after after that. You know what I mean? Like you're just really afraid to get close to people after that. And I think that guilt is just like too much for them. So and, and they don't. And, I, and, you know, like I said, I feel like when they start like tuning into the physical world and actually tuning into your energy, not the version of you that they've created in their head, but your actual true energy, when they start tuning into that, it's like that that pain that they telepathically pick up from you, that sense of like, oh, my God, like you betrayed me, like I would have died for you. I loved you more than anything. You completely betrayed me and and just r destroyed me in a lot of ways. Um, once they when they really pick up on that, they're like. It's it's like the guilt and the pain and, and all that feeling your pain is too much for them. And, and so they have this version of you that's more angry than hurt, you know, and anger really is just pain. That's just, you know, it, it's if you're if your pain isn't dealt with, like if, if it's not if your needs are not met, if you're in pain and you're saying the same thing over and over again and it's just you're you know, you're not getting what you need. Eventually, yeah, you do become angry. That per that pain turns ah that pain turns to anger. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's like, it's like, it's, it's easier for them to, to deal with that, that angry version of you, you know what I mean? It's easier for them to tell tell themselves like, oh, you know, she just, she's he or She is better off without me. They, you know, they, they hate me. They're angry at me, but they're not in pain anymore or something like that. It's like, there, there's two different, there's reality. And then there's, there's this, this illusion they've created in their head to make themselves feel better. I think it like also lets them off the hook. Like they don't have to fix it. If you just hate them in their mind, it's like, okay, I, don't, I can't fix it. You know, it's, it's like, it lets them, it's like, I can't fix this or I don't know how to fix that. Whereas if they just broke your trust and they acknowledge that it's like, okay, I need to, I need to take, I need to own what I did. I, I shouldn't have done this to this person. You know what I mean? It's like two di different energies. You guys get what I'm, where I'm going with that. You guys get what I'm saying. I think, tell me more about this. It's almost like this person has an eye. They, they keep going back and forth because they also have this very masculine energy. This is what they want to be. They want to have the strength. They want a passionate new start in general in, in, in their life. And for a lot of them, probably with you, um, even though they don't know how to fix the damage, but they also want to have the strength to be the emperor. They want to be in a more masculine role. They want to be more assertive, more honest. They want to have integrity. They want to match your energy more. They want to be a lot stronger than they've been in the past. Um, this could be someone that cheated on you as well, or they might have just like, maybe they were like an F boy, F girl type. Like they had, you know, multiple people they were talking to at the same time, like kind of like flirting with a lot of different people at once, even if they didn't take it too far. Um, they still weren't really like loyal, basically, is what I'm saying. Like they, they definitely did something to really betray your trust, something that you wouldn't expect from them, something that was very sneaky. So I'm guessing for the majority of you, if that it could be stealing, stealing money from you for someone. But I think for most of you, it was probably something like to do with cheating, uh, porn, flirting, flirting with a lot of other girls, whatnot, you know, something. Well, I guess porn's not cheating, really. Probably. I don't know. I guess it's a matter of opinion. But anyway, um, Anyway, it's like they, they want to be the emperor. They want to be this strong figure. They want to have honesty, integrity. They want to match your energy. They want to, they don't want to give in to their temptations. They don't want to give in to their ego as much, to their darker side. They don't want to give in to, um, you know, constantly just needing like an, an ego boost, constantly needing attention from, from people. They don't want to give in to these patterns anymore. They want to be strong. Um, they want to become this person 
but it's like they're judging themselves so much that it's it's like they're going back and forth between like I really want to be this emperor and like I can never be this emperor because of how badly I betrayed this person, how badly I hurt this person. I'll never be able to be the emperor. I'll never forgive myself for this or I'll never I'll never be more than a page. I'll never be more than this childish immature energy. I'll never be more than a player. Um It's like they go back and forth, I think. They they, they just, they, it's like they have these two different conflicting mentalities and, and they're just at war with themselves right now. It's like they want to be the emperor, but they don't believe that they deserve to be the emperor. They don't believe that they deserve to hold that kind of power after what they've done. Let's wrap the reading up. What else? Let's do one more spread. I almost feel like they're afraid of karma. It's so strange because it's like they're punishing themselves so badly right now. Like they're, I keep wanting to say they like pain and like maybe for some of them, they actually like pain, whether it's physical or mental, emotional, like they're, they're used to pain. Pain is comfortable to them. Um, it's like they're, they find their home in the darkness. Like they're, they're used to that energy. They've adapted to that energy. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe they have the power to better themselves. I feel like they're really also afraid of karma. So they're like, they're afraid that like eight of pentacles, they're going to, they're going to work on things with you, with themselves, just in general. Like they're going to work towards the life that they want. They're going to work towards being the kind of person they want to be. And then I almost wonder if they also feel like they're hexed like you probably didn't hex them but they might feel like you hexed them or they feel like the divine has stepped in they feel like they have it's like they feel like they have bad luck or bad karma or some kind of negative energy around them or negative spirits like they don't they don't feel like they're fully secure basically fully safe um so I think they're afraid of putting all of this. It, it's like a too good to be true mentality, like like a very negative, pessimistic, like why why bother? Like why even start when everything I do, I'm just going to fail. I'm just going to mess it up sooner or later. Because it's like they want to work towards towards this but and like become the magician and manifest the life that they want and manifest changes. Um, but then they think the tower is going to come in and it's going to take all that away from them. Like they think the minute they let themselves become this emperor or the minute they let themselves be happy the minute they apologize to you the minute they do something drastically differently they feel like the rug is going to be swept out from under them and they're just going to lose it all like they're just going to be punished like they feel like the universe is almost out to get them like the universe is just waiting for them to to let their guard down so that it can punish them some more so that it can almost like the universe is like making a, a joke out of their life like the universe is just gonna uh or like your spirit guides or whoever are just gonna you know pull the rug out from under them and just you know make them suffer just when they think they've finally reached that next level and honestly like the universe isn't trying to like punish anyone it's not it's not really how karma works. It's it's not like the universe is like out to get him or her. The universe isn't like trying to like make this person suffer. It's just a balance. You know what I mean? Like if you cheat on someone, if you cheat on multiple people again and again, eventually you're going to get cheated on. So you know how that feels. You make fun of homeless people again and again and again. Eventually you're probably going to be homeless, whether it's this life or the next, so that you understand how it feels to be homeless. It's not the universe. Karma isn't like the universe trying to like, you know, ha ha, I got you. I'm getting back at you. It's not like that. It, it's like, it's like balancing things out. You know what I mean? It's teaching empathy, teaching higher perspectives, teaching multiple perspectives. It's just, it's, it's, it's balance. Um, so I think as long as this person has this negative mentality, they're going to keep sabotaging themselves and they're not really going to get anywhere in life. They're just going to keep going in circles. They might have karmic debt to pay, but they're going to have to pay that karmic debt whether they're the emperor or not. I mean, they can stay at this lower level and, and hold on to the darkness. They're still going to have bad karma or they can rise up. They're still, you know, they're going to have that karmic debt either way, but... At least if they're working towards being the emperor, the universe is going to see that they're really 
making an effort to change, to better themselves, to take accountability. And that, you know, that might really actually propel them forward and kind of balance out the karma a little bit because it's like, you know, they're they're making that commitment. They're it's like this person's perspective is a big part of the problem. The perspective that this person is like trapped in is um it's it's just keeping they're keeping themselves stuck. They're their own worst enemy. Their spirit guides are not doing this to them. The universe is not doing this to them. They're doing it to themselves and they're assuming that it's a hex or it's bad spirits or it's whatever. It's it's like they're creating this karmic cycle. They're staying in this energy when, you know, they could easily commit to making changes. They could easily commit themselves to being a better person and to staying on that path and having integrity and being true to themselves. So, so yeah, I mean, this person's just going to be at war with themselves until they finally surrender and, and, you know, make those changes that they need to make. And do it for the right reasons, too. Because it's almost like, I don't, I don't know if I would say psychosis, but it's, it's like, it's kind of dangerous how delusional this person's becoming, how detached there could even be drug or alcohol use involved here too, very heavily, because it's just, I just, when I tune into this person's energy, it's like dangerous how detached from reality they're becoming. Like I said, they have this whole version of you in their head that's not even accurate. Um, you could even love this person. They, they wouldn't feel it though. They wouldn't know it. And some of you don't, some of you do. It's different for everybody, but it, it's like they don't, they're, they're not... Um, they're really not tuned into your energy. They're not channeling you clearly. They're not channeling anyone clearly. They're very, it's like they have all these different, it's probably not just for you. It's probably for other people as well. They just kind of make the worst assumptions about people. They have their own perspective on who and, you know, what people are and what they want, their intentions. They try to control everything and figure everything out. And majority of the time, they're not even really using their intuition. They're just going based on like, you know, trauma uh you know things that they've gone through in the past and just assuming the worst about everyone so it's like their version of people in their head is so drastically different than like how people actually are um and there probably are toxic people in their life that they should cut out but it's like i wouldn't be surprised if like the toxic people if they're like uh, idolizing them you know what i mean like if they have like toxic parents or toxic uh you know, siblings or toxic friends, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, those people, they give them the benefit of the doubt, and they, like, you know, try to see the best in them to self, like, self-sabotage themselves, and, like, people that actually, like, haven't done anything wrong, they probably see, like, the worst in them, and probably, you know, assume that they hate them, or whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, they're, they're just, they're so detached from reality, they need to ground themselves, clear their energy, uh, really shift their perspective and learn to this person's so detached from their intuition they really need to learn to use their intuition they are they are misreading so many people in their in their life right now some for the worst and some for the best but they they really they don't understand people right now so they really need to to fix this um anyway i'm gonna put this out there thank you guys for watching